The muscles in his residual limbs are moving because he's imagining that he's, his hand is there. And then our sensors that are in the socket will recognize that pressure map uh, for that specific grip pattern and then tell the hand to move that way. There we go. Bionic hands are available in the market. For example, the BB Ionic used by my pilot. And there are other hands in the market as well that are very versatile. Uh, and what we're contributing is a natural way for the user to control that hand because currently there's no natural way to do it. They have to learn how to activate and move the muscles in specific patterns to use their hand and that can take up to many months of training and can become cumbersome to learn and unfortunately it leads to abandonment of these beautiful devices, these amazing devices that could really assist them. So we're dealing with what the bottleneck problem is which is the human machine interface. So we want to make it natural for the user. You can open a jar now. It's changed my life in the fact that I can, I'm actually working my fingers in my stump, which I've really never done before. Uh, the Myoelectric, which is some of our competitors at the Cybathlon will be doing, uh, they, they run on basically um, running only three fingers. Uh, we have 11 different grip patterns with this hand, with this technology. So the potential is to do a lot of these different tasks and also be able to do them overhead which with the with the myoelectric and my current arm you can't do that and like bionics of course is a tremendous thing but there, that involves a lot of uh, multiple surgeries where this there's no surgery uh, you you get fit you put it on you test it and you work it